subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, Getting Started with Ansible, Installing Ansible and Configuring Ansible.cfg Ansible is a powerful open source automation tool that simplifies configuration management, application deployment, and task automation. This tutorial will guide you through the process of installing Ansible and configuring the Ansible.cfg file, which is a key configuration file used to customize Ansible's behavior. Before you begin, make sure you have the following prerequisites. Python Ansible requires Python to be installed on the system. Ensure you have Python version 3.6 or later. PIP Ansible can be installed using the Python Package Manager, PIP. Make sure you have PIP installed. You can install PIP by following the instructions here. Open a terminal or command prompt and run the following command to install Ansible using PIP. This command will download and install the latest version of Ansible along with its dependencies. After the installation is complete, verify that Ansible has been installed successfully by running the following command. This command should display information about the installed Ansible version. The Ansible.cfg file is used to configure Ansible settings. You can create this file in the project directory or in the default location slash etc slash ansible slash. Let's create a simple ansible.cfg file in the project directory. Create a file named ansible.cfg using a text editor of your choice. Open the ansible.cfg file and add the following content. Replace your underscore remote underscore user with the username you want to use when connecting to remote machines. The inventory parameter specifies the location of the inventory file, which is used to define the hosts Ansible will manage. Now, create an inventory file named inventory.ini in the same directory. Open the inventory.ini file and add some example hosts. Replace the IP addresses with the actual IP addresses of your remote servers. Now that Ansible is installed and configured, you can test it by running a simple command. This command uses Ansible to ping the hosts defined in the web underscore servers group in the inventory file. If everything is set up correctly, you should see a successful ping response from each host. Congratulations! You've successfully installed Ansible and configured the Ansible.cfg file. You can now explore more advanced features and use Ansible to automate various tasks on your infrastructure. ChatGPT